Well, the, uh, to me, the, the Christy Smogs and Fourth Wall moment is maybe the second coolest Ducky moment. The first being this amazing lip sync scene. Uh -huh. yeah. Can you talk a little bit about that? Was that, that did that just come naturally, or was that a? Uh, uh, it's, <laughs> it's, no, 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 it was actually yeah. That's the thing. It's, oh, it was a spontaneous moment. They just happened to have 18 cameras looking <laughs> at me, and I just went off and riffed. Um, no, what it was was uh, um, I had they they there was nothing specified in the script. Basically, the script uh, says and oh, I should have brought it. I still have my old printing picture. Um, uh, no need to bring that to the special all fans. <laughs> sorry, sorry, but it, it, it said like. My Mother Reynolds in my car. <laughs> <laughs> now, be nice, people. <laughs> um, uh, no, at any rate. <laughs> It said Doug comes in singing and dancing and gyrating and everything, but it did not say what song or what to do. And, uh, um... Wait, the script just said Ducky gyrate? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it was... It, it, it basically said, you know, I come in, like, really selling a song, and but it's ridiculous. Uh, and we were trying to what what is the most ridiculous thing? And at the time, uh, I, I was well known in my circle of friends for doing a Mick Jagger imitation because I have uh, very large lips, uh, which is basically my sole real uh, qualification for doing a Mick Jagger imitation. But at any rate, uh, so there was a while where they were thinking, okay, well, it's really stupid. You know, we should do that. And then they thought, no, 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 that's not stupid enough. And Howie Deutsch's dad was uh, like a legend in the music business and was able to uh, uh, get the rights to the, to the song, to Trial of Tenderness, um, the Otis Redding version, and, uh, uh, and you know, once Howie heard that, he said, no, this is, this is what you gotta do. And I said, but there's it's so long, there's a long slope part of the beginning. No, no, we'll cut that crap. So, <laughs> so uh, he got me together with uh, a guy named Kenny Ortega. Um, <laughs> People go, you know what? That guy did a lot of very iconic yeah. choreography because he did dirty dancing and and, and newsies. <laughs> um, but you know, the Dark Knight is a newsie. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, that was Christian Bale. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I, I'm sorry. Uh, um, but what happened was they uh, Howie got me together with Kenny the day before. Uh, we were we, we just started shooting and we were on the Third Street Promenade, by the way, which was at that point a hole. Uh, there was no, all the stores were closed and uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure has a lot of stuff shot there as well. If, you, if you're interested in Third Street Promenade, <laughs> <laughs> um, but at any rate, uh, uh, we we had just started shooting there and he got me together with Kenny uh, and Kenny basically choreographed it. Uh, although I'm not really a dancer, so he had to sort of work with me and and, um, and we showed it to Lauren Schiller and Howie the next day and I was just full of, you know, I was jazz hands. I went to theater camp and I brought it down for Christ's sake, you know. So I was selling it and I sold it and I just we played it and I was just like, this is great, this is gonna be you're gonna love this and just at the end of it, silence you know, from Howie and Lauren and I and I was like, What's up guys? Sorry, is that okay? And uh, then they, they sort of muttered to each other. Uh, and uh, Howie said, "No, no, it's 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 fine, uh, you know. But uh, I, I, now I have to shoot it. Uh, and the problem was that it was going to put him a couple of days behind schedule in the first week of his first major movie. Um, so I was basically putting him behind the eight ball from day two, uh, which you know is a it's a ballsy choice to make as a director to say, you know, what, I'm going to deal with shit from the studio for the rest of the shoot because I want to get this thing." Um, and he did, you know, and he, it was a, 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 a ballsy choice. It's an amazing scene. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, you know, I'm going to open up the floor for some questions if you're cool with that. Are you? All right. Does anybody have any questions for John Cryer? Oh. oh. <laughs> you first, sir. Okay. Uh, was it, was it, when you had difficulty, first time having difficulty with another actor like Molly, was it... <laughs> <laughs> well, it wasn't difficult. Did, did, did you have to 
did you have to compromise? Was there certain compromising positions you had to deal with? <laughs> but, was it, were, were, were there compromising uh, positions that I had to deal with? Anyone else with an answer? No. <laughs> 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 compromising position of, of being uh, with, with, the, with the tip? With no, it's not. For an actor, you do. It, it is easier when you have that immediate sort of rapport, and it's and.